Okay, so we've already set up our Active Directory domain services on our 2016 server. We're ready to set up the OU or the organizational unit structure. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. There's really no wrong or right, right way. Um, I've built them totally different for a lot of different environments. And we may build this one and figure out later that as we're building the group policy objects and trying to assign ACL groups and all this stuff that it needs to be structured differently. But we got to start somewhere. So I'll kind of walk you through my thought process on this particular one. Now, as you can see, I set up kind of a, a pretend blueprint of our um, business here. This is a tire shop. And on this left side here, you can see that we have a north side and a south side. So we may have, my thought process here is, we're gonna have an OU called service. And that's for the service department, obviously. And then underneath that, we're gonna have a north and then a south OU. And then we'll probably have, cause the scenario would be, we have multiple service techs that come in and work. We don't know, some days they may be working in the north section here, and some days they may be work, working in the south section. And you can see we have a printer in the north and we have a printer in the south. So what I wanna do is put my users in this whole service department OU. But then I wanna have the computers in a north OU and then a south OU. And then what we'll do is we'll set up some item level targeting and we'll do something for printers where, okay, if Chris Davis comes in and works in the north, if he's working on a, if he's logged into a computer that's in the north section, give them the north printer. And then same thing with the south. And we, again, we may change this as we start building that out. But as of right now, that's my thought process. Then we're going to have a sales OU. So we got a service OU and we got a sales OU. And in the sales department, we also have a printer here. This is a real easy one. Under the sales OU, I think I'm just going to have a computers OU and then a users OU. But you can also see we have a sales manager here, and the sales manager has their own printer as well. And they typically have a lot of different rights and everything, so we'll just do a whole new OU for them. And then the cool department, the IT department, has their own printer. They also have a, uh, you know, they have sysadmins and then they have techs. So let's build this thing already. That's kind of the blueprint of it. So within our server manager dashboard, go to tools in the upper right. Click on Active Directory Users and Computers. Now expand our domain name. This one is testdomain.internal. That's what we named it. But we're going to create one OU. This is our master, basically, group policy object OU. And then under that is going to be uh, service, sales, and IT. So right click our test domain. Uh, we're going to go to New Organizational Unit. This one, I'm just going to call it Group Policy OU. It's what we have ours named at work. It just makes sense to me. Leave the protect container from accidental deletion on. When you have multiple people using um, navigating through Active Directory, it's easy to accidentally drag and drop a folder. This protects that. You can always go in there and advance settings and disable that and then delete your stuff. But All right, so there's our Group Policy OU. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, let's refresh this. And there it is right there. So under there, there's gonna be three main OUs, IT, service, and sales. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. Right click, new, organizational unit, call this IT. IT is always first because we're the coolest, right? We're gonna highlight group policy again, right click, go to new, organizational unit, sales. Right click, new, service. Oops, I called it services. It's early. All right. IT sales and service. So we'll start with IT because we are the coolest. Again, right click, new, and under IT, we're gonna have we're gonna have some techs that work for us. Maybe they come and go because maybe they're interns as well. We don't know yet. So we're gonna do techs, hit OK, and under techs, let's create computers, OU, and then under techs, we'll do users. Where I work now at the hospital, we don't have, it's not set up like this. We don't have users OUs and then computers OUs. We just bundle them all under techs or whatever because, I don't know, that's just the way it's been built. There's no right or wrong way. We have a lot of different OUs. We have a lot of different locations. Um, we just do things a little differently. We use some item level targeting here and there. Um, but this is going to break it up pretty nicely, I think, here. So then under IT, we also have systems administrators 
So under systems administrators, we are going to have users and computers. We may have one or two sysadmins at this place. We don't know yet. Uh, what, did I just do computers or users? Users. Okay. So I think for now we are done with the IT department. So let's build our sales section. So remember in this drawing, we have basically one sales area. So, and then we have a sales manager. So let's go ahead and say, uh, under sales, let's have users and computers. And then a sales manager. And under that, I mean, we could probably, it's only gonna be one sales manager. You could probably just dump both of them in there, the user and the computer objects, but to keep it clean and standardized throughout our whole structure here, we're gonna go ahead and just keep on going with computers and users. All right, I think that's gonna do it for our sales OU now. Now service, remember this is the one that's a little bit more intricate. We're gonna go ahead and say north. And I'm thinking of computer accounts right now. And then south. Now within north. And we could probably, we probably don't need this. We could probably just dump the computer accounts right in the north section. But again, to keep it the same, I'm going to go ahead and do it. We may delete it later. I don't know. because we're gonna have computers in the north section, computers in the south, or maybe multiple computers. And then we're gonna have a main users. So, because remember, we're gonna, you may have an employee come in, a service employee come in and work in the north section one day or even half the day, and then they have to go help with the south and then they log into the computer down there. Now, we're also gonna have a service manager. And then in there, Let's go ahead and create users and we'll create computers. So I think that's going to do it for our Active Directory structure, just a baseline where we're going to start out. Open this up a little bit. Again, this may change a little bit as we go on, but this is my thought process right now. and. Uh, I think this is going to work out quite well. All right, so we'll see you in the next video.